What is going on guys? We are starting this video on the highway. My previous video, you guys saw that I removed the clutch delay valve in my clutch system on my Mark 7 GTI. Today, I wanna to talk about the ways that you can improve your clutch feel and responsiveness of the clutch in your Mark 7 Golf, Golf Sport Wagon, GTI, or Golf R. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. So a couple of things to start off guys. I've owned my Mark 7 GTI for about two months now and I've loved it. It's been amazing, but one of the biggest complaints that these cars have is how numb the clutch feel are from the factory. And honestly, I was completely in agreement with that when I first bought this car. The clutch was super light, it felt super numb, it felt kind of fake. I don't even know how to really explain it. The clutch just did not feel good from the factory in this car. And I started to go on forums online to search up what ways I can improve the clutch feel in this car, if possible, without actually having to redo the clutch. Now, eventually I'm gonna have to do the clutch on this car because I do plan on tuning the car, I do plan on doing some mods to this car, and I know that the stock clutch will not be able to handle the power that this car is going to have. And again, it's not gonna be crazy power, you know, this car will probably be like a low 300 wheel horsepower car and maybe high 300 to low 400 wheel torque car. So it's not gonna be anything too crazy, but the stock clutch cannot handle that kind of power. So I started looking up online. I had people comment stuff in some of my videos and I had a couple of different suggestions of what I could do for this car to make it feel better drivability wise. And those three things that came up was removing the clutch spring, adding a clutch stop to the car and also removing the clutch delay valve in the car. And with those combination of three things, the car would feel way better. Now, what do I have to say to that? Because I have done all three things now. I've taken the spring out, I've put a clutch stop in the car, and I removed the delay valve. So what do I think? Honestly, you need to do these three things. You need to do these three things all together when you put the trio of doing these simple mods that take maybe 10 to 15 minutes of your time all together because taking out the clutch spring takes 20 seconds, very easy. Put in the clutch stop, that literally takes 30 seconds. And then between removing the delay valve, bleeding the clutch and putting everything back together, that takes about 10 minutes. So honestly guys, to do all three of these mods, you could do it in a 15 minute setting and it completely changes the characteristic of the way this car drives and feels. Now let me go over a couple of little price point things for you guys because uh, some of these mods are extremely cheap for the little things that you need and then you have a completely free one. So let me start with the free mod that you could do for your clutch. That is going to be removing the clutch spring. That costs zero dollars. You don't even need a set of pliers like a lot of people say. You can literally reach your hand behind the clutch pedal and you can remove the spring from its little bracket and pull it out and it costs nothing and it takes 30 seconds to do. The second thing is the clutch stop. I got my clutch stop for under $15. So it's super cheap and it lessens the travel of the clutch pedal, making the car feel a lot better. It makes the clutch engage a little quicker. It just makes the overall feel of the clutch just a lot better because if you guys have driven any kind of Volkswagen or Audi, uh, the clutch travel is super long. You gotta push so far in to get the clutch to come back out. And a lot of other cars like Hondas, uh, even Hyundai's, I've driven Veloster's before. The clutch pedal is super short. A good example is my Miata. The clutch pedal feels super short. It feels really nice and sporty. The Volkswagens just feel too long and it's just kind of annoying. And I've driven a lot of manual transmission Volkswagens, but this is the one that I felt it in the most because even my sport wagon wasn't as bad when I would drive it. This one just felt really bad. So putting in a clutch stop reduces the travel a little bit. It makes the car feel a lot better. And number three is the delay valve. Now, honestly, in my opinion, driving this car so far with the delay valve out of the system has been the best mod that I possibly could have done because everything is so direct now. Um, the point of the delay valve, I'm not 100% sure exactly what it does. I think it's to like, um, kind of like preserve the wear on the clutch by not allowing you to like bang gears as quickly, something like that. Again, I could be 100% wrong, but it really does exactly what it, it says. It puts a delay between your shifts and it sucks because I wanna bang from first to second. I wanna do a pull second to third and there's a small pause when I shift. And again, it just kind of sucks guys because I wanna just be able to do this. Watch, this is where the, the, the delay valve out. Right into fifth, right into sixth. There's no like second delay where it feels weird. It just, it's direct. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then even downshifting, like sixth to fifth, right away. Fifth to fourth, there's no bogging. The rev matching is so much easier now. No, I feel. 
No, I, I mean, guys, like, it's mind-boggling how much, and I know it's not placebo because I've been driving this car every single day for almost two months now, and taking out the delay valve immediately. When I first did my video, my one to two shift, it felt weird because I was waiting for that delay and the clutch just engaged and kept going, so it was kind of like a non-smooth shift. So those three mods together really make a difference. Honestly, guys, I'm just ecstatic on how much better this car feels now with those simple little things. The manual transmission of the Mark 7 has been talked badly about a lot. Um, just from the way it feels and all that stuff. And that's why a lot of people on this platform, I feel prefer the DSG over the manual because of the little things like that. And I can't lie, um, now that I have both my S3 and these car, and, and this car, I'm sorry, that I could basically directly compare, which again, it's hard to compare two, two different things like that, but um, driving this car every day with the manual really makes me appreciate the DSG a lot more. And I'll tell you why, because the DSG is fantastic, and I didn't realize how fantastic it was until I drove this car, because as much fun as this car is to drive, and arguably this car is more fun to drive than my Audi, because it is more engaging being that it is a manual transmission, but that DSG is almost impossible to beat, guys. Though how fast it shifts, how responsive everything is, you don't lose boost between shifts. It's a computer, so you can never really make a mistake. It's just so perfect that it's just hard to kind of wrap your head around how good a transmission system can be and then you pair a transmission tune on top of already a good system and it makes it such like a experience to drive now the mods that I did for this car really a hundred percent did improve the way the car feels so at the end of the day I can't complain the clutch in this car feels a lot better the drivability feels a lot better and if you guys had to do something if you bought a mark 7 Volkswagen and you don't like the way the clutch feels from your Golf, Sport Wagon, Golf R, GTI, you don't like the way the car feels, you could do these three things and I guarantee that you're gonna appreciate the car a little more and feel like this is the way the car should have came um, from the factory, just like this in this setting. So yeah guys, I mean, I'm just, I'm just downshifting right now just to screw around, but I mean, this feels good. The clutch is bled properly. It just gets into gear so much easier. It, it's just, it's a lot more enjoyable to drive the car the way it is now and I'm glad that these little things exist to do because they make a huge difference. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, honestly, again, please do these mods if you're looking to improve the feel of your clutch and your Mark 7 Volkswagens because this is key, this is big, and it's really gonna improve the way the car feels for you. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the clutch stop that I have in the car, and any questions you guys need, please let me know. I have all three videos up on my channel now, from removing the clutch spring, to installing the clutch stop, to removing the delay valve in the clutch system, so you guys can refer to those three videos. I'm gonna leave a link to those videos in the description so you can watch them in case you wanna do the same exact thing that I did. I promise you guys, it's gonna make the car feel a lot better. One of the things that I complained about a lot when I first got the car was how numb the clutch felt and this although it didn't make the clutch perfect it definitely made the clutch driving experience more bearable in this car and now I can truly say that the car is fun and a lot more engaging to drive and for that I'm thankful I'm glad that it's so easy to do and I'm glad that it's super cheap to do but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good day